All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at the market today and see what's going on. So first of all, the turning hours for the market today is 12.07. That should be your setup hour. Um, and then like towards 1.30, you should see some action there, but that's your basically turning hour at 12.07. You should be setting it up. Then at 4.28, 4.42, which is New York open my time, right? So New York in the morning. 9.30, that'll give you a, a bit of a glimpse of what's going on, what's happening. And then, and then what, what do I mean by that? That means that if, a, if, a, if it makes a pullback, okay, at those hours, then that's also time when you want to change. Okay, so look out for pullbacks at that hour. And then that should take us to an adjustment level by the time the market gets to 6.26.40 p.m., okay? Um, yeah, that should be it, okay? And then we should be hanging around there, um, like 7.47 till 8. All right. So those are your hours. So let's take a look at the dollar yen. Now, dollar yen... Last week, I said, don't buy here, let it pull back. The market did pull back. I would have liked a bit more of a pullback. However, though, look, this is a new month, right? Look at the new month, we've broken above. So again, this has got room to go up. So what do you want to do is wait for the pullbacks and then go long, okay? Um, the, on the daily, we've got room to go up, go up. So this is going to go up, okay? But just go up on a pullback. So this is Monday. If the market pulls back a little bit down to your weekly or whatever, then don't miss it. Go with it, you know. Or the market pulls back down to your 40 level on your PST, then, you know, start buying then. Let's take a look at dollar franc. Dollar franc, I said last week, on pullback, if it does a pullback, you need to go long because the direction for this, I think, is long. As you know, with the euro dollar, I was short dollar franc market came down to those levels down here and then went up. As you can see, that's the line I talked about on the weekly. I said there's a blue line that should probably pop our heads down there. It did. And then the market moved up and that's fine. Okay. So what do we expect? Well, we're just expecting this to carry on going up. So any pullback is an opportunity to go long. This is an opportunity to go long anytime it pulls back. If it comes back down here, or even further down, it's just a good option to, I reckon, to buy the dollar franc. Let's take a look at the dollar Canadi. Same thing with the dollar Canadi. Um, I think, you know, any pullback is a good option to go long. So this is a good setup here, as you can see. Also, check this out. We should be on a Fibonacci. Yeah, there we go. Right on the Fibo there. So this is a good zone to be going long. So what do you want to do is on your PSD setup, just wait for the market to pull back. Up. Don't you go buying on a resistance level. Obviously, I will say it. And I'm not tired of saying it, but you know, obviously, if you were in Asia, you would have bought it on this line here. Why? Because that's your weekly daily. You've kind of gone long with it. Um, so on any pullback, I reckon that should be going long as well all right let's take a look at i'm not going to open that because it does do a bit of freezing pound dollar pound dollar well it did what we said it would do last week and the week before that because i said sell at the pst levels if you sold at the pst levels you would have been laughing just here here and the week before, even here at the tops, and the market's going down, as you can see. So what do we want to do with this? Well, any pullback is an opportunity to go short again, in my opinion, um, because if we take a look at the monthly, right, this is our situation. So any pullback up is just you know, good to go south. And if I just did this, all right, you just want to follow this wave down, okay? So back, down, up, down, 
up, down, up kind of thing. Okay, you can follow this up on the daily as well. Nicely going down. We've got targets there and there. So nothing surprising. Just follow your blue dotted lines. If you're using the ATAM strategy, then just follow your PST levels and you should be all right. Don't deviate. Deviation causes dramas. So your targets are down there and that's where it should be going. Euro dollar, same thing. I said sell off on the on the goodbye kiss. On the PST line, look, there's your PST line there. The market sold right on the PST line. Okay. And then it went down. So we're probably going to go down. And as you can see, you can see where we're going. All right. So just follow it through with your PSD. Pullback's a good opportunity to sell. DAX. Now, this was a nice one to follow. Head and shoulders formation setting up. Will it break above the shoulder level? That's shoulder, head, shoulder forming. If this shoulder forms down here, then you've got potential to come down all the way here. So would we be selling? Well, look, I think we would be selling around here. Is sounding good. That 16, 230, 40 range there on the red dotted line, 61, 15, 8, 7, 7, 15, 6, 1, 6. They're pretty close. All right, just the 16,840. That's your kill zone. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Where are we going with Bitcoin? Now, I did mention, if you watched the video on the weekend, um, I said a lot of money is going into crypto. So I'm going to open up the Global Trader Club Zone as well. That's work in process. And we've got about 30 odd cryptocurrencies going um, on the fundamental and technical reviews. So it'll be good if you're, you know, it'll be a good environment for traders if you are wanting to trade cryptos as well. So this is the monthly. This is your first resistance, that's 66,000. All right. So if we go beyond that, that's it. This is going further there. So nice up move. Obviously, don't buy on the resistance. That 66 is going to be a strong resistance. If it breaks above on the pullback, you can go long. If the market does pull down, because it's like breaking up, as you can see here on the PST, right? It's the highest it did on the PST is 57.87. So it's just there. So I'd wait and see if the market does pull back a little bit, it'll be good to go long. Let's take a look at gold, silver, SP500. Like I said, with the indices, SP500 as well, wait and see policy right now is the way to go. And if it will open up with gold and silver, on pullbacks, I said go long last week. 77 for gold was the goodbye kiss level. Market went down to 71, and then they started buying. Let's take a look at that on the monthly. This is gold on the monthly, guys. Pullback is good to go up. That 77 is again 71 zone, sorry. 71 is again good if you're looking to go long on gold. Okay. So just on any pullback down here, 1773, 71. This is a, you know, it's a buy zone. Okay, gold is saying, please buy me. So on pullbacks, wait for it. Wait for your setups, let it come down and then go with it. Same thing with silver. Same thing happening here. Um, I said we'd have a bit of a pullback and that's good to wait for a little bit of a pullback. The market has done that. Would it come a bit further down? It might. And if it did, that would be good. Coming down to about 43 would be really nice. If it did, it's a bit fair. It's a bit, it's a bit down there. 43, 23, 30 zone. If it does, 
this zone is a buy zone as well. So be mindful. If gold starts coming down as well, just be patient. And just be patient. See how they correlate. All right. SP 500, new month, wait for it. Okay. On the weekly, on the price, this line is all resistance here, but it broke above that last week. So what to do? Sit and wait. This zone is still a sell zone, but I'd sit and wait for a good sell reaction to try off on a buy. Don't buy on the resistance level there, okay? Right there, not a good idea. Support, buy, resistance, sell. This is resistance, consider selling around here. I'd wait for the market to react a little bit. It's Monday and this week looks like Thursday and Friday look like the action week, uh, action days, sorry. But we'll see how that, that turns out as we look at the um, daily astrology every day as well. All right. Hope that helps. Any dramas, questions, drop me a line.